Of the 1600 films I've rated on Letterboxd, I have only 28 that I consider to be perfect five star films. One of those is 2015's Inside Out. So all I ask is Disney, Pixar, please don't ruin it with this sequel. Well, I watched it and I'll discuss my thoughts and I need to mention something crazy at the end about new movie theater protocol that has me flummoxed. But first, here is my spoiler free review of Inside Out 2. Riley is now a teenager still led by her joy and several other key emotions. But as she navigates through puberty and prepares for high school, new unanticipated emotions, led by anxiety, start to influence the young teenager's personality. When she meets new, cool friends at hockey camp, these new emotions begin to take control of Riley and change not only how she acts, but they may alter her beliefs and her entire sense of self. Inside Out 2 is facing an uphill battle with me, but I want to establish right away, it is a good movie, and I will explain just how good, but it's like in the sports world when your football team is really good, maybe the best team, anything short of winning the Super Bowl is disappointing. In the movie world, when I watch a film by Spielberg or Scorsese, anything less than a masterpiece feels unsatisfying. So that is the bar I have set. Inside Out 2 kicks off very similar to how the original ended. Riley is enjoying hockey, and the film uses that theme to reintroduce her existing emotions. Joy, anger, disgust, fear, and of course, sadness. Then, Joy gives us a recap on how Riley is growing. Shortly after this review, we are introduced to the new emotions, the aforementioned anxiety, along with envy, embarrassment, and boredom. As anxiety helps Riley fit in briefly, the other emotions start to depend on anxiety, and eventually, they become completely bottled up. Ah! What do you think you're doing? Ah! Riley's life is more complex now. It, it requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. You just aren't what she needs anymore, Joy. How dare you, madam? You can't just bottle us up. Oh, that's a great idea. At this point, the adventure retraces many of the fun beats from the first film, filled with more fun puns such as the sarcasm, the rumor mill, a brainstorm, and more. Where the film lacks a bit is in the characters of each emotion. In the original, each emotion, whether sadness or joy, they consistently portrayed that emotion, and it led to an amazing metaphor of how emotions work together to develop our individual personalities, specifically at that awkward middle school. Age. In this film, the emotions are still representations of themselves, however, they will periodically change their personas to achieve their goals. Anger expresses gentleness and kindness, fear shows bravery, joy displays sorrow, etc. And it does work in the context of the story, but the consistency in that original was a masterclass in storytelling that will be difficult for anyone to ever replicate. As the old emotions travel through Riley's mind in this film, they have multiple fun interactions, including the best new concept in the film, Riley's Secret Vault, that exposes embarrassing thoughts like her appreciation of a baby cartoon character, Bloofy, and his handy fanny pack named Pouchy. These new characters are fun, but I must admit, the journey of the key emotions back to headquarters is a little jumbled, somewhat confusing, and unclear. Again, contrasting the impeccable journey in the original where every action made total sense in the mind of a tween. My biggest concern with Inside Out 2 is I'm not sure young kids will fully appreciate it. That is something that blew my mind with the original. When my family watched it, my wife and I experienced a completely different film for my kids. While they were enjoying a cute, colorful romp through the mind of a young girl, we were diving deep into the melancholy of innocence lost and aching at the precious memories of times gone by. Inside Out 2 seems to be aiming for those same kids from 2015, but now they're nine years older. And I think that is where this movie absolutely shines. This movie captures the more complex emotions that young adults experience, specifically anxiety. If you have ever experienced anxiety or had a child experience anxiety, this movie captures this emotion to perfection. 
Anxiety, anthropomorphized, convinces the other emotions that she is protecting Riley from future problems. She then uses Riley's imagination. If you remember, they were jelly bean like characters that produced Riley's dreams as she slept. Well, in this film, they are persuaded to manifest all the possible bad things that could happen to Riley if she makes certain decisions. And this is depicted in a great scene echoing Apple Computer's 1984 Super Bowl commercial that some deem the greatest commercial ever made. Well, as anxiety's influence grows stronger, things start to go awry for Riley, and I can't share much beyond that, you're gonna have to watch it for yourself to find out. For my final rating, Inside Out 2 isn't perfect like its predecessor, but it has amazing artwork, I specifically like the design of boredom, it flawlessly depicts the awkwardness of trying to be a cool adolescent, and it creatively illustrates anxiety and panic better than anything I've ever watched. But I think it may be a tad boring for younger kids with its cerebral approach to some really serious issues, so I will give it a 4 out of 5 stars and thank Disney and Pixar for creating a wonderful new chapter to one of my favorite films of the 2000s. Now, before I wrap up, I must bring up a theater situation. My kids went with a group of seven, several 19-year-olds, and the youngest 16, and they were not permitted to buy tickets to see this movie without someone over 21. So I joined them, but I had to stay with them the whole time. I couldn't just buy their tickets and leave. I had to stay with them at the movie. So my question is, is this new? I could understand an R-rated film, but even in that situation, several were over 18. I honestly don't know. If you understand that rule, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of Inside Out 2. If you enjoyed this review, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of my future reviews. Also, you can check out some of my other reviews by clicking on one of these boxes.